Seven years ago, NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission blasted off to an asteroid named Bennu. Its mission to collect samples and return it to Earth. After traveling for nearly 3.9 billion miles, OSIRIS-REx is set to land back on Earth late Sunday morning. Here to discuss why this accomplishment is so meaningful to the scientific community is Tom Statler, program scientist for NASA's Planetary Science Division. Good morning, Tom. Hey, good morning. We're really looking forward to this biggest return of extraterrestrial samples in over 50 years. I mean, I'm excited, so I'm sure you're excited too. So Tom, we know asteroids are small, rocky, dusty bodies. They orbit the sun. But why is studying them so important? Uh, because they're not just any other ro any old rock. They are leftover raw materials from the formation of our planets four and a half billion years ago. And every asteroid is carrying uh, a memory of a different part of the story of our solar system. We really want to understand the, the big questions about where we came from and what we are, how our Earth came to be the way it is, and what had to happen on the Earth for conditions to be right for life. That's why we're studying the asteroids, to understand that history. So cool. So this is NASA's first ever asteroid sample return mission. Can you kind of walk <clears> us <throat> through the journey from maybe start to now this finish? Sure. This, so the uh, the robotic spacecraft that's OSIRIS-REx uh, was launched from Cape Canaveral in 2016. It took about a year and a half for it to match orbits and rendezvous with the asteroid Bennu. It went into orbit around Bennu and stayed there for uh, about two years doing detailed mapping and uh, remote instrument studies, uh, spectra colors, all kinds of things that you can do from a distance and, and de uh, determined where the best place was to try and do the touch and go sample acquisition, which was done in 2020. Very briefly, the, uh, the spacecraft settled down to the surface, extended an arm, and that touched the surface of the asteroid, collected the sample. It was stored in the sample return capsule. It's been a year and a half now coming back. And Sunday morning, that capsule is going to be released. We'll re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at a speed of almost 28,000 miles an hour, slow down abruptly, and parachute down to the desert in Utah. It's going to be picked up, made safe, and then the next day flown to our curation facility at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, where everything will be made secure and the examination and study will begin. Oh, so cool. So I know you said obviously life specifically knowing where we came from, but is there anything specific, maybe you or maybe some of your uh, co-scientists are really just excited to learn specifically about this mission? Um, about this asteroid, I, I, I want to know what the chemical composition is. I want to know how much water there is in it. This issue, this question of where did our water come from is just so compelling. Um, the very, very early Earth would have been hot and molten. It would be hard for water to stay around. And so there's lines of evidence pointing to the idea that maybe asteroids were responsible for delivering the water to the Earth after it was cool. And so if our bodies uh, are, you know, we're 75% water. And so if the water in our bodies and the water in a child's tears can be traced to a black rock in space that crashed onto the earth billions of years ago, that says something really amazing about ourselves and our relation to our planet and the cosmos. So I want to know about the water in that object. I genuinely just got chills. That's actually really cool. Well, I'm really excited. I know our viewers are excited. I know you're excited. How can our viewers watch the capsule return if they want to? Well, we're going to live stream the whole event free to the world. It's going to be on NASA TV and www.nasa.gov. You can follow on social media uh, at NASA. The touchdown is going to be 10:55 uh, a.m. Eastern time in Utah. The broadcast starts at 10 a.m. Eastern time, and hope we'll see everybody there. And of course, we're off the air at 10, so a perfect time to tune in. You can also catch the return on our WCNC mobile app or WCNC Plus. Uh, we'll have not only the launch, but also a little bit of commentary from some of our scientific experts. Uh, that's a free download, of course, with Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. And of course, forecast looks great. So 